Hi everyone, Steve here. Well, welcome to another video. I'm in the back shed because it is too miserable outside to be recording. It's been a horrible weekend, but it's given me a chance to uh, get a bit of stuff done that I wanted to at home. Sprayed a few weeds, mowed the lawn, and uh, tidied up a little bit of my new racking that I've got to store all my gear in the shed. So give me a bit more room on my workbench, I can claim it back again. And uh, why I'm at my workbench, uh, I run a few different of these power stations here. I've got the All Powers one here right in front of me, which we have in the caravan and we use it when we're traveling in the van. We have it sitting between the bed at night and we plug all our phones because it's got heaps of um, 240 volt sockets, heaps of USBs. There's not a lot of those in the van, but uh, we just use this and it saves a bit of battery power in the van as well. So I think these are great for supplementing power when you're traveling. And we also use it outside. I did a cook up a few weeks ago uh, outside the van, cooked up some pancakes and uh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's got a, a 1500 watt inverter in it. So or actually 1800 watt inverter in this one. And uh, I also have the Jackery one. I think it's got a thousand watt inverter and I've got the iTech World one behind me here, which is running some lights. Might be a little bit of flickering on the screen there from the LEDs. But uh, charging it up, charging these things up, how can you do it? You can do it through solar. Uh, I can use my all powers solar panels here. Let me lift them up, 25 kilos, 400 watts. They were the solar panels that come with the all powers over here. And uh, yeah, they put about 30 amps in to this and charge it up, but you've got to have sun and uh, you've got to keep moving it around and get it charged up. I can also plug in a smaller solar panel to it. I can put it in the car and charge it up through the cigarette lighter plug, but unfortunately that is very slow to charge these things up. There is a product that I've been eyeing off for a while and uh, it's called the Charger One DC to DC Charger and it's by a company called Blue Eddy. It is basically a DC-DC charger that they have created to wire up to the main battery in your car, run the cables through, have it set up in the back of a vehicle or a caravan or something like that. And uh, what it does, it converts the 14 volts or 13 volts that comes out of your car alternator or start battery and increases the power and gives you more amperage to charge up their sort of Blue Eddy power stations, but also it works with a range of other power stations. Um, I haven't opened this yet and looked at it or read any of the instructions, but uh, I've seen a couple of videos of these working off power boxes. What I intend to do is wire this up to my Egon DC hub and run it off my auxiliary battery in the back of the Ranger so that if I need to top this up, I can uh, use my auxiliary battery to top this up. Then my solar panel, which I have connected to the car, will uh, charge up my auxiliary battery. But I can also start the car and use the DC to DC charger in the back of the, the Ranger to top up my auxiliary battery. So I think I'm covered in uh, most respects. I can also, Play, turn on the generator and just plug 240 straight into this or into the car. So I've got multiple options. It's sort of having a little bit of a backup, a plan B if you want to call it, for getting everything charged in the case where you don't have enough solar power to charge your um, battery, whatever it may be, whether it's a power station, a battery, auxiliary battery or something like that. This puts out about 530 watts, I think. So it should have plenty of power to charge this up. I'm gonna get it all wired up. This all powers at the moment, I think is down to about uh, 33%. So it's bordering on being um, pretty well depleted. So what I'll do is I'll open this up. We'll bring the camera down here, show you what's in the box and uh, I'll show you how it wires up and uh, we'll get it turned on and uh, see how it goes, eh? Cheers, everyone. Okay, let's open her up. 
So it's quite a heavy little uh, box. So I'm interested to see what this unit looks like. So let's open her up. Wow, it is only tiny, but it is heavy. There it is there. Actually, this unit here is not that heavy. It's lighter than I, all the weight must be in the bottom of the box. So let's have a quick look at it on the back here. What do we got? Just all the um, compliance information and then it's got your DC input 13.8 to 27 volts, so uh, can take up to 27 volts, uh, 50 amps max. Output 15 volts, 56 volts, 10 amps max. Operating temperatures minus 20 to plus 60 degrees Celsius, or if you're using Fahrenheit, minus 4 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's have a look uh, from the left hand side. Uh, on the top here, looks like you can access the screws down through there, which you just got two screws in then. So that's your input side and uh, little cooling vents on that end. On the other end, exactly the same. You got your screws down there and you got your output. So not a lot to it. Uh, very tiny, uh, very light. So all the weight must be in the box down here. So let's get in here. Okay. This is the heavy part, by the feels of it. We'll get rid of that box. So what's in here? I assume this is all your instructions and cabling. Wow. Looks like 6 AWG cabling, which is what I run in the Ranger for my DC to DC cables. Um, it is all wired up telling you how to do it. So you got your battery plus a negative. Down the other end here, you have got a circuit breaker to turn it on and off, by the looks of it. You get a little um, MC4 connector, I should remember those, I've used a few of them now, MC4 connectors. And uh, you got little lugs on the end there to hook up whatever you may want to hook them up to, which I assume will go into those there. Pretty simple. That looks like a plate for and screws for mounting it. And the most important part, besides the water thing, which you make sure you dispose of properly, is the instructions, which I will read now. And then uh, I'll come back to you and uh, make sure we get it all wired up. 23 pages. I'll read that up now. I'll read most of it. Garen, trust me, I will. Yep. Okay. And uh, we'll get this. I'll show you how I wire this up. And uh, we'll see what it does, eh? Cheers, everyone. Okay, I've got it all wired up. I haven't fired it up yet. But uh, very simple. And uh, at least the weather's started to fine up a little bit. Can see the sun a bit out there now, so putting a bit more light on me. But uh, yeah, really simple to wire up, guys. So what we'll do is we'll grab the camera now, and uh, I'll take you through what I've done, because basically it was just clipping all the wires into the product and then connecting two wires to my system that I have here. So let's grab this, and uh, we'll take you through it, eh? Now, obviously, like I said before, this system can be attached to your start battery on the front of your car then run your cabling up through the channel of your car that is how it is designed but what i'm doing i'm running it off my lee time 230 amp hour battery running all the way around here and going into the egon dc hub now the wiring for this one here for the uh, blue eddy is running from this top fuse point up here it's a 50 amp output well, actually, it's 80 amps, but I've got a 50 amp fuse in it. The wire's running down through here, and that's that covering you can see there. That comes with the product running around the back there. And you have their little uh, fuse cutoff switch here. It's turned off at the moment and runs over to the uh, Blue Eddy unit itself. So this unit is quite tiny. And uh, what I've done is I've put in the MC4 connector in this side and put in their cords on the other side. So input, output. 
and uh, that's basically it. So all I've got to do is flick on that fuse there. Now there is a little light on the end here, so what we'll do is we will flick that up. There we go there, a little green light flashing. I'll grab my phone out of my pocket or wherever I put it and I'll go to the Blue Eddy app. Okay, I'll go to the app on my phone. I'll just do some screen recording. Now, let's find the Blue Eddy app. Okay. There we go. And now, as you can see up on the screen there, it's uh, saying it's coming from the vehicle, which it is. Uh, there's no watts or nothing coming out. It's 13.2 volts going into it and it's set at 27 volts to go out so what i might have to do is is we'll go to, i know my panel solar panels that i put into this are 37 volts because they do tell you to make sure that you check the voltage and everything before you plug it into the device uh, this is made for blue eddy but like i said it will charge other products so what you have to do is, is go into charging voltage, um, disconnect the device before adjusting the voltage. So make sure you haven't got it connected. I haven't got anything connected yet. As you can see down there, nothing's connected to those MC4s. So I'll go, I have followed the above steps next. Um, if you had a Blue Eddy, you'd select model, but I've got a custom one. I'll accept that. What I'll do is I'm going to set it for 37 volts and go next. Reminder, disconnect. Um, wait 90 seconds before reconnecting. And we should see that voltage change. Yep, there we go. It's up to 37 volts now. So what I'll do is now, I will go to the unit itself. We'll plug in the Anderson connector. I'll keep that little display up on the screen there for you. Now, in my little bag of tricks from all powers here, I'm sure there is an MC for cord here so what we'll do is we'll plug this in should be red to red male to female male to female on that one and we'll go to the back of the car now and we will plug this in okay I've got the blue eddy turned on I've got my cord plugged in. As you can see on the front there, it's at 34%, no input going in, no output. We'll open up the solar connector here and we'll plug that in. Turn on the display again and we'll sit back and we should see something happen in a second. It should start charging. There we go. The wattage is going up, as you can see on the uh, screenshot there from your phone. It gives you all the same information that's on the um, display on the all powers as well. So depending on your voltage of your machine um, is dictated on how much uh, watts you can put in. Um, I read on the back of this, it can take up to 60 volts but I'm erring on the uh, side of caution here at the moment. I'm only putting in 37 volts because I don't want to damage the product. If you've got a different machine, make sure you have a look at the maximum voltage and everything you can put in. It was default at 27 volts, but I've put it up to 37 because I know my all powers panels, I can put uh, 37 volts into this unit. So, it's saying now one hour to fully charged, putting in nearly 400 watts, which is about what the uh, all powers panels would actually put into this if I had them plugged into it. So because they are 40 watt panels, 400 watt panels, I should say, and they put about 30 amps in, so which is roughly 
around 400 watts. So there you go there. This is how I am going to charge this up if needed, if there's horrible cloudy weather and storm clouds around, because what I can do is I can uh, plug this in to that, charge it off my system in the back of the car. Now, if I need to charge that battery back up, that's 230 amp hours. So I can also start the car and put up to 50 amps into my battery as well. But we'll just have a look at the car as well. And I'll go to the Victron app. We'll click on that. I'll put that up on the screen as well. So what are we taking out? 30 amps, which is roughly 389 watts, which basically marries up with uh, everything that's happening with the Blue Eddy. So my battery's at 67%, um, three hours before it's flat. So this will be charged in less than an hour. So I'm not gonna flatten my battery and uh, this is gonna be fully charged so we can use it again. So I'll do follow up videos. I might do a video when we're out on the field when we're actually doing this. But uh, if you've got any questions, queries or comments about the Blue Eddy uh, Charger 1, please leave them down below. I think it's going to be another great asset to my off-grid camping capabilities. Um, tell me what you think um, and uh, stay safe, look after each other and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. I'll just let this charge up now because I'm interested to see how long it will take so yeah constant 30 amps coming out so hey guys stevie cheers, one more thing before i go it has actually been a couple of weeks since i shot the video you just watched and uh i got thinking i got onto blue eddie myself i sent him an email and um asked him well i told him that i was doing a video on the uh, charger one that i purchased i paid for it myself i didn't get it given to me or anything like that and uh I messaged him and uh, just uh, told him that I'd bought the Charger one. I was really happy with how the product was going. And I'm always trying to chase deals for you guys. So I asked him if they had a discount code or anything they could offer me. And they got back to me and they've given me a 5% discount code. Um, that's all I'm getting out of it is just a 5% discount code for you guys. I'm not making anything out of it. Um, but I thought I'd let you know. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. So if you want to buy any of the Blue Eddy products, um, get on there, use my discount code, and um, I'll put it up on the screen now so you know what it is. But uh, yeah, no, thanks to Blue Eddy, and um, they're, they are amazing products. Um, I think if I ever get another power station, um, I'll probably look at their ones and um, because I think they are really good. Have a look at Buck's channel as well. He's just released a video on the V2 or something, um, little power station. But uh, yeah, I've been away for the weekend. We uh, come back and I'm just charging up my iTech World one. I'll put a video up the other day. I've got it set on their app at uh, 19 volts because that's all this can handle and uh, putting in 78 watts so that's the good thing about the Blue Eddy. You can see it running over there and that's just taking the uh, power out of my battery out of my car. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching again. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. See yous. Bye.